everybody, this is Rob with the Freeze Aquariums. Night Crew had reached out to me and asked if I would make a video to help you guys and gals with the updated Night Crew Classic Plus LED Aquarium Light. What they asked me to do was, because they've upgraded this light, aluminum chassis compared to the original, the predecessor, which I didn't realize until I started to look into the V2, the upgraded version, uh, that I had purchased the predecessor back in 2020. But the difference was you did not get your timer. I had to buy this separate, so it was another 12 bucks. So I've had the light and the timer for a few years now. And one thing that, well, what they asked me to do was a video on how to program this light so that you folks don't return it because you're having issues trying to program it. You don't buy it because going through the programming seems tedious. Looking at the instructions, I feel your pain. Um, somehow I kind of don't have issues with things like these. I didn't even read the instructions. I just kind of know how to, you know, to do things. A lot of us have that ability. But at any rate, now, quickly to speak to the light versus the predecessor, this light, from comparing it to the one I have, one of the differences is that this light is 25% brighter. I can't test that because I don't have a PAR meter, and that light's also been running since 2020. So out of the gate, it's not going to be a true comparison because over time, LEDs, will lose some degree of brightness. We may not see it, but if we had a meter hooked up to it, you'd probably see it. Secondly, um, it shares the same model number as what I have, but again, I had to purchase the timer separately. The major difference was the old one is 28 and a half inches long. I asked for, you know, when they said what one could they send me, they sent me the 24 to 30. Now I'm thinking this is going to be 24 inches. It's not. You need to take this in consideration if you're buying it. This light is the, the 24 to 30 is 22 and a half. So on a 29 gallon, it sits in between right about there. Now this one's a 55 I'm pointing out but it sits there. The original light sits there to there. So it's perfectly in the tank. It covers the span of the glass lid. But I digress. So as far as programming this light, which seems to be a common complaint across all the Amazon posts, um, if you Google it, uh, reviews on the light, that's probably one of the complaints when it comes to the uh, light itself is the programming. On the controls, and I wish this was just a little bit longer, you have your power, I call it a gear, but they call it a set, minutes and hour buttons, and then your digital display. Now the hours and minutes, of course, adjust your hours and your minutes. Hours up, one to whatever, minutes zero to 59. Um, they also play a part in increasing or decreasing the light intensity. The set is confirming your current setting. So as you click that gear or that settings button, that confirms that this is what I want, move on to the next part of the program, and so on. Now, on the display, you can see 0, 0, 15, or 30. What that translates to are the functions. 0, 0 is a on-off function, and there is no adjustability in the intensity of the light. It basically turns on, runs, turns off, no dimming, no, no um, increase in light. 
the 15 and 30, what that does is, or what that is, is a ramp up time. 15 minutes, so if this light is set from nine to 1900 hours, it's a 24 hour clock, not a 12 hour. So that's something you'll have to get used to. At nine o'clock, it's set up, the light's gonna come on and it's going to ramp up 15 minutes so quarter after nine, it'll be 100%. If I use the 30 minutes, 30 minutes, it'll be at 100%. So the ramp up from zero to 100%, zero and up is 15 or 30, depending on how you set. Now on the flip side, the sunset will come in, <clears throat> and I know they give an example, which I'll read to you afterwards, but as not to confuse you, if at 1900 hours is what you have set, at 1900 hours, whether you have 15 or 30 minutes, it's now going to ramp itself down, at which point it's going to shut off. That's kind of just the default out of the box, how it would run. Now, their default setting for the light it's going to give you eight hours of full brightness and then 10 hour on channel one, meaning your reds, whites, and greens. And then 10 hours of bright of a 60% brightness on channel two, which is just your blue. Now they, they tell you that all channels can be run simultaneously or um, consecutively. So m being that I just mentioned to you the ramp up and the ramp down, channel one being every light, every LED but your blue, and then 10 hours of channel two being just your blues. So that's gonna kind of run, I, I wanna say consecutively, because what's gonna happen is it ramps up channel one, it's on all day long, it's starting to ramp down. Now, two, uh, two hours into the eight hours, so six hours, your blues are gonna come on. And it's gonna continue to run while this ramps down at night and goes off and leaves your blues to continue and go off. So kind of simultaneously, followed by consecutively. In the manual mode, just plugging it in, You'll set your time, which I'll show you. But when you press the power on off button, you're going to get off, self-explanatory, all LEDs are off. When it says on, all LEDs are on. And then when you click it again and it says two on, it is just your blues. So for the first time, they want you to press and hold the power and the gear and that basically resets it back to factory, which, you know, out of the box, it should be set to factory. So now to set the clock, you want to press the set and hold it. Now it's flashing in clock setup time, 24 hour clock. So after 12, it'll switch to 1300, 1400 and so on. So right now it's 1740. You can press and hold the buttons and as you see it will step through. But if you go past your number, guess what? You've got to go back and step back through it again. All right, so we're at 1740. We click it. Now it's number one. And that's channel one. What time do we want it to come on? So for demonstration purposes, do 1743 hit the wheel again what time do we want it to go off 1744 hit the wheel so it says channel one is now at a hundred percent I can hit the hour or minus and brighten it or dim it 
I'm going to leave it at 100, hit the wheel. Now it says number two. So we want number two to come on at 17, we'll say 1743. So I can kind of show you the simultaneous and the consecutive. So there we are at 1743. Hit the circle. What time do we want it to go off? We'll say we want it to go off at 1746. Hit the wheel. And number two is at 60. Again, we can change the intensity or lower it here. Leave it on 60. 15 hour ramp up or 30 hour ramp up, as I mentioned. All right, so we're at 11, uh, we're at 1742. Fairly simple to program. Now, as I mentioned, using the default is going to run from nine. The channel one, the LEDs with the exception of blue, are gonna run from 900 to 1700 hours. Um, and then at 1700 hours, or the 10 hours, the blues are gonna turn on and they're going to run up until 1900 hours, 1950. Well, they're ramped down and turn off. Again, manual mode, you cannot control. So here we go, 1743. All my lights are on. I'm running the blues simultaneously, where if I set it, you know, two minutes later, you'd see everything but the blues come on. Now you should be able to see it start right here. It's starting to ramp up. Now it's not going to reach 100% because it needs that 15 minutes to go from 0 to 100, which this is kind of good because at least you can see it and not be blinded. So it's ramping up, and that's at 17.43, still ramping up. It takes about 9 seconds for it to go 1%. So it, it, it basically factors out the 15 minutes at 1 second adjustments until 15 minutes so that it reaches 100% and 100% down to 0. So now you see we're on the other side. Now it's starting to step down. The blues never change. That channel was set at 60. That's where it remains. So we're at 1744. And now it's stepping down. It, gets a, it definitely gets much brighter than what you're seeing here. But again, it's because the time frame will not allow it to reach 100 because I'm doing it quick for demonstration purposes. All right, so now those have ramped down, they've ramped off, and now we have just the blue. So we're at 1745, so now it's actually going to shut itself off. Well, as I showed you while we're waiting for this to go through, <clears throat> for those of you that have this light, and having issues with the timer or you have the old light and you want to add the timer hopefully this helps you and makes your life a little bit easier going with the instructions it can definitely be frustrating um, but being able to see it like this being done in front of you you can rewind and go through the steps that I did you know and, and you can slowly get yourself acclimated to it you know just go back and back and forth now one of the questions that pops up a bit um, that night crew actually answers in their instruction manual has to do with if you lose power do you lose your settings I've dealt with it several times and it maintains your settings however it loses the time you have to reset your time um, some people ask, well, why are my lights not as bright? There you go. It's dimmed down since we've talked. 1749, it is off. That's the current time, and it will restart again tomorrow at said time. So, 
the brightness sometimes it could just be that your your light intensity is turned down and it's just a matter of going into the settings and turning it back up <clears throat> and then they talk about the ramp up time which I spoke about zero to one percent takes nine seconds so it's not too difficult to program if for any reason you mess something up something's not working you just press the power and the set together hold them down for two seconds it's now back in default mode does retain the time but does not retain your settings so as you see when I hit the set does nothing when I go through manual that's all it does that's the only thing that stays so if I want to change anything you just get into your modes set them always clarify or confirm your settings by pressing the set now here I'm changing the intensity number two whatever time what time it's going to go off set it again and from here you can adjust or uh, increase or decrease your lighting intensity press it change it from 15 minute ramp up to 30 ramp up or 15 minute ramp down 30 minute ramp down set your time is set and you're good to go so pretty simple just use the set or the gear to get into the settings plus or minus to increase or decrease the intensity of the light or adjust your hour adjust your time up or down you know hours minutes um, or just plug it in set your time and just use manual mode and you can control it or just let it run its course so folks this is Robert DeFries Aquariums Hopefully I simplified the nightmare known as the night crew timer. If you have any questions, feel free to um, reach out to support at nightcrew.com and they should be able to help you. Or if you have any questions, you can certainly find me on YouTube at DeFries Aquariums on YouTube and um, either send me a message that way or if you'd like, um, if you have any questions, you can certainly shoot me an email at racing1278 at gmail.com, and I will try to get back to you on there. Um, if you want to see, for those who don't have the light and you want to see it, you can go to my YouTube channel again, DeFries Aquariums. Um, there is a review on there for the original Nycru Classic LED Plus which will kind of give you an idea of what it looks like on the tank, how well it functions, um, and really the only difference is it being a bit brighter and having this built in, um, as well as some other things on there as well, some other Nycru lights um, to check out. And uh, with that, I hope this helped. This again is Rob from DeFries Aquariums. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace.